Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today's video is a continuation of the previous video for the control net uh, models in SDXL. Last time we talked about open pause, so if you want to check that out, make sure to check it out, which replicates the pause of the uh, image into a new image. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the depth map. So this depth map here. This is the original image that we want to uh, replicate. The resolution is not that great because the size is 1024 by 1024. And the size is really important because it needs to match the image dimension with the latent image here. And SDXL uses 1024, so the dimension here also needs to match. So it's really recommended to have the image 1024, the preprocessor as 1024, and the uh, latent image as 1024 by 1024 pixels. So let's uh, uh, see how to generate this. So how, how, how does the depth map work? Is that it takes the image that you wanna uh, replicate and it shades it in black and white, depending on the depth of the uh, objects in the image. As you can see here, it uses black and white. So the swan is uh, clearly visible in uh, white. And then the lake, and then the reflections, and the trees, the mountains here show a little bit darker because they're further away. And then the furthest away is this region in black. So this, this is the purpose of the depth map and how it works. So when it uh, goes into the uh, preprocessor here, it generates a depth map. This is the Zoe depth map. You can install it from the uh, manager, install custom nodes, or you can download the workflow. I'm gonna be sharing it in the description below and install missing custom nodes and you'll, you'll be able to install it. So what this preprocessor does is that it generates the image, uh, converts the image into a depth map, and then it gets inputted into apply control net image input. So make sure to input the image from the output of the preprocessor, not the original image here, this one. Uh, and then you use the control net model, the depth SDXL uh, new dot safe tensor. I'm going to be leaving the link to download it uh, in the description below at the Hugging Face uh, website. So this one goes into the control net model, the green input here, and then the positive prompt in here goes into the apply control net, and the output of the control net goes into the input of the positive K sampler. Uh, here. And then I'm just using uh, C plus save image to organize my work and uh, save the image into outputs videos so that I can uh, organize my work better. Uh, this is available for uh, Comfy uh, My Coffee page uh, members, uh, gold and silver members. So if you want to download it, it's available with, um, you know, a, a bunch of other uh, custom mo uh, nodes that are really, really useful. And the output is right here. So as you can see here, we got an output that is very close to the original in this image in terms of, you know, like the objects, the mountains here, the reflection in the lake, the swan. So all the positioning is really, really close and a uh, very nice uh, generation. So if you want to replicate an image, uh, this is a really nice way to do it uh, using the uh, uh, control net depth model for SDXL. So next time we're going to be probably talking about scribble, tiles, or uh, uh, line art. So make sure to subscribe for future videos, hit a like, that, that would really help, and uh, see you in the next video, thank you for watching.